Mmm, what's up? Hi, my name is James. Uh, welcome to James's Munchie Time. I'm gonna be eating through all the Korean snack foods to tell you my ultimate munchie. Today, I am at H Mart and I'm gonna try all the tteokbokki they have. So let's go pick them. Oh my God, do I really try all of them? Oh, <laughs> oh God. Okay. okay, I feel like this is a lot. Okay, I think this is the last one. I think what I'm doing is stupid. I went through every single aisle of H Mart and I was able to find a total of 22 different kinds of tteokbokki. There are lots of different flavor options on the market like rose tteokbokki, jajang tteokbokki, but for the sake of my stomach and sanity, we only picked the sweet and spicy ones. The first category is tteokbokki cup that you cook in the microwave. For this one, you just need to add hot water, microwave, and it's ready to eat. I kind of want to start with this adorable pororo uh, mekom tteokbokki. Wow, Ooh, I get the very like heavy uh, starchy gochujang smell. And tteok is tiny. It's probably the smallest tteok that I've ever seen. Yum, yum, yum. So the duck is chewy, but it didn't absorb all that sauce as it's just kind of like soupy, but the flavors are there. Next one is Wanda Pukki, also very watery. I think what I'm noticing with the cup duck Pukki is that it's just not going to get cooked. Uh, the rice cakes will not absorb the sauce. Yum, yum, yum. It's definitely spicier. There's like a lingering spice that leaves on your tongue compared to the previous one. Are you getting all the spice? I'm getting there. <laughs> oh, dumb. Next one is habanero tteokbokki. <laughs> I'm not sure why all this cup tteokbokki is encouraging me to add so much water because all of them look extremely soupy. I would generally add less water just to make it thick. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. It is um, addictive. You keep going for another bite, even though it's spicy. Here's the next one. Mekong daikong tteokbokki, cut tteokbokki. Oh, so I see a lot of dry vegetables here. With yum, yum, yum. This tastes the most uh, familiar. I think the addition of uh, vegetable flakes really uh, amp up the flavors of tteokbokki. Next one is Mekong Cup Tteokbokki uh, by Pumuan. Pumuan is one of the big uh, retailers from Korea that has a variety of tteokbokki. Ooh! Yum, yum, yum. Mmm! Pumuan knows what they're doing. The duck texture is just what I like. It's plump, it's like wonderfully chewy. It doesn't have that like, kind of artificial taste that I have from the previous duck. Wow. The sauce is very well balanced with the sweet and spicy flavors. It's not overpowering. If I were to get this, I would let add like noodles or rice just to make it like heartier. This one is mekong dalkong tteokbokki. Okay, so this one's a secret tteokbokki sauce. So let's see whether it tastes like their secret ingredient. Yum, yum, yum. Their sauce is not that special. <laughs> That's fine. I'm sweating. So the next one is kuktak kapokki. Ooh, okay. Yum, yum, yum. It doesn't have that much flavor. I would be really sad if this is your tteokbokki experience. But I'm not saying it's bad. It's just that it's not what it should be. My pick for this category is doo -doo 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 -doo. this Primuan Mekong Cup tteokbokki. The duck texture was phenomenal compared to the others. And it had the most amount of like portion and the sauce and the flavors were good enough that I feel like it was a good base to make something else. So if you like this, I would add like some noodles or fish cakes or even rice just to make it taste even better. Oh my God, Jesus. So we're moving on to the second category, which is a shelf stable, ready to eat tteokbokki kits. So these don't have to be frozen or refrigerated, but they need to be cooked on the stove top. So this one is from Dongeun brand called tteokbokki eshing, and it has hot spicy tteokbokki, but what's interesting is that it's like a dakgalbi style. So dakgalbi is a spicy chicken. So the fact that it says like chicken flavor for tteokbokki is very intriguing. Open it. Duck, sauce, and sauce. 
When you make these uh, instant tteokbokki on the stove top, it's pretty similar like how you would make ramen. You add water and you add the sauce and duck and you just like cook it for like four to five minutes and it's ready. The rice cake size is also kind of small, but size doesn't matter. Yum, yum, yum. You definitely get the chicken flavor, um, which is pretty rare. I would actually add like chunks of chicken thighs to almost call it like a takgalbi tteokbokki. Okay, so the second one is a uh, rice tteokbokki from Otugi. Otugi is probably one of the most recognizable popular Korean brands. So this looks visually like the most accurate version of tteokbokki that I've seen so far. Duck compared to the previous one has a diagonal cut versus like the circular cut that we've seen so far. Yum, yum, yum. It definitely absorbs all the flavors of the sauce. The flavor is a little bit sweeter side. It's not super spicy. And let's try the fish cakes. It tastes like actual fish cake. I'm really happy that this one comes with the fish cakes because that's what I enjoy sometimes more in tteokbokki. So if you buy this one, I think you really get the whole package. So the next one is also from Okdugi, but compared to the previous one, this one is gongul tteokbokki, so it will be brothier. And I'm curious to see whether there will be a major difference between the previous sal tteokbokki and gongul tteokbokki, even though it's from the same brand. Maybe it's just me calculating the broth wrong, but it doesn't have that much broth considering it's gongul tteokbokki. Here's a tteok. Yum, yum, yum. To be honest, I don't really taste much of a difference. My stomach is acting up. That concludes the second category. Compared to the first one, the rice cakes were cooked better. The flavors stood out better because it was cooked on the stove top. Generally, would recommend this over cup tteokbokki. My ultimate pick would be this one. The shape of a diagonal cut of rice cakes was optimal for cooking in the sauce. And I really, really enjoy the dry fish cakes that came with it. You really get the total package and a full, somewhat real Korean tteokbokki experience. Look at that! And now we've come to the last category, which is frozen and refrigerated tteokbokki kit. So the reason why you see so many more options for this category is that this is the best way to preserve the flavors and the textures of rice cake. So the first one is Sangpalyando Tteokbokki. Yum, yum, yum. Mm -hmm. The rice cake texture is amazing. Delicious. There is a very slight hint of a little bit of like the unpleasant fishiness of this. Maybe it's because it's been frozen for so long, but I like the texture of fish cake. It's quite meaty. It goes very, very well with the rice cake. Yum, 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 yum. It's not as sweet, um, but definitely spice for it. Not too spicy, but there's a um, slightly chalky taste at the end that I am not really a big fan of. So this one is another wheat flour cakes, uh, tteokbokki. It's also kungur tteokbokki, so it should be more broth. Yum, yum, yum. Mm, it's very nice, pleasant. Yum. This tteokbokki, it's panchan. This is perfect with a side of rice because it's so flavorful and broth. I will like add a little bit of broth over rice to eat it. The fish cake is not fishy at all. It's meaty. The texture is really nice. Overall, delicious. This one is Chuage Kuminakyo tteokbokki and it advertises it has a black pepper flavor. This one has a really nice um, ratio of rice cakes and fish cakes. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. The rice cake, rice cake texture has been incredible. This is why you need to choose the frozen aisle if you want the premium experience. I'm getting a mixture of um, curry powder and pepper. So, this, I would absolutely add like more ramen noodle to make it even tastier. This one has a very interesting design. I have an issue about the way tteokbokki is spelled. Some have T-O-P-O-K-K-I, some have T-T-E-O-K, and some have D-D. Um, let me know which way you write tteokbokki. Look at this 
rice cake. It's thin, it's long, it's perfectly slurpable. Wow. Yum, yum, yum. I even like the texture of rice cake. Mmm! Rice cake is so good, so meaty, so flavorful. Working with the brand called Goresang Omuk, which is also a premium fish cake brand in Korea. So they made the right decision. The sauce is definitely on the sweeter side. The only thing that I really like about this is the shape of rice cake and fish cake, but the flavor, not so impressed. So this one is actually a collaboration of two popular brands, Chuoge Kuminakyo Tteokbokki and Samjin Omuk. Samjin Omuk is a very popular fish cake brand in Korea based in Busan. And this one has like a fish cake for Tteokbokki, so I'm very excited to try this. Look at this. Look at that. There's a lot of different fish cake. There's a triangular one. There's this like fish bowl. Yum, yum, yum. It's really good. It's fun. I think it has like a perfect amount of chew and the slurp and the length that it's it satisfies my mouth. I just love the shape. Yum, yum, yum. Mm, it's airy, it's meaty. This is what an ideal fish cake should taste. So the sauce tastes more like a fish cake broth with a hint of gochujang. So I don't think this is like a spicy tteokbokki. It's more like a fish cake soup with rice cake. This one is chuoge kungminakyo tteokbokki. This rice cake got a really, really nice chew. I think it absorbed the flavor as well. I think it's just a little bit too sweet for me. How are you doing, James? This one is 88 Seoul Meat Duck Tteokbokki. It has a perfect balance of like a spice at the end, not like as soon as you taste it, but like as you swallow the broth. To me, this really checks up all the things that I'm looking for. This one is Pang Tteok, Pangchon Wonjo Gungmul Tteokbokki. I have high hopes for this. Okay. Hmm. It's not bad. It did not absorb any flavor. <laughs> I don't think this is for me. This is Gungmul Tteokbokki from Pulmuan. Can I get a fork? <laughs> I can't. Sorry, my ancestors. <laughs> oh, I really like the firm texture of this rice cake. The sauce is kind of meh for me, but the rice cake texture, pretty good. 88 Seoul Gungmul Tteokbokki. And what's interesting about this is that it has rice noodles in the packet. Wow. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's very starchy. But not too sweet, not too spicy. I honestly think um, the inclusion of noodles, something that I was originally excited, kind of killed the experience of eating this tteokbokki for me. Um, Atal sal tteokbokki. Interesting fact about this is that it's made out of tomato gochujang. Yum, yum, yum. A little bit too mushy. I definitely taste a little bit of acidic, sweet flavors of tomato. This one is like, hmm, meh. This is the last one! At same brand, but brothier version. The spice level is there. It's not too sweet. Um, I don't mind that it's watery. Oh, yeah. Mm. What makes this better is the flavor. Eating kungmul tteokbokki, you have to eat it with the kungmul. And this, I'm into it. <sighs> I have no words. <laughs> the winner of this very competitive category is 88 Seoul Meat Duck Tteokbokki. The texture of rice cake was phenomenal, like bouncy, chewy, wheat-based rice cake, just what I, I'm looking for. And the fish cake tasted great. The broth slid into my throat very smoothly. I was like going back and forth between this one and this one. This one 
one, I would say it's like a strong second contender because the flavor is like so aggressive in a good way. It's super peppery with a hint of like curry at the end. I remember this out of all the other things that was pretty similar, but when I tasted this, I was like, this is my ultimate favorite tteokbokki flavor combination. And it's time to pick my ultimate tteokbokki munchie. And the winner is... Mm -hmm. 88 Seoul Meat Duck Duck Bookie! This will forever have a spot in my freezer. If you like this long and spicy, sweaty tteokbokki journey with me, please like and subscribe to our Kaka Studio. Comment below what should be my next munchie and stay tuned for the next episode of Jamesy Munchie Time! Ugh.